The dome behind me is now inflated. We've speeded up the footage a bit, but it's still fairly quick to put up and down. And then maybe another five minutes or so to set up the projector inside. Uh, we've already done that for the video. Um, so we're gonna head inside our dome and start our show. So now here we are in the dome. It gets quite warm in here, so my jacket is off. And it's still far too bright to actually see any stars or any objects on the dome. So we need to make it darker. This happens obviously every night um, and it allows your eyes to get used to the dark as well. It's a process called dark adaption. And this happens very quickly in your eyes. It allows your eyes to see much more in the way of detail when it's dark. You'll notice this happening every night. You turn off your bedroom lights and for the first few minutes, you can't really see much. Very quickly, it becomes brighter and clearer. So we're gonna start that happening just now, get our very high-tech sunset. But even this is still far too bright to see any stars. You need to wait till about three quarters of an hour after sunset, really, before you start to see any objects at all. So we need to make it even darker uh, and actually have a look at the stars. In the Star Lab, we show the stars and planets on the dome, giving you a good idea of how the real night sky looks. We start off showing you how to get your bearings using the plow and the pole star, then move on to the main constellations through the year, such as Orion, including his belt and sword, along with fainter parts like his head and shield. and some brighter stars, such as Sirius. We can also project the constellations as the ancient Greeks and Romans imagined them from their myths and legends. <laughs> 